Hello folks, uh, it's Tim Oscott here from Stonebeck Games. Uh, now, I've been recently learning how to um, rig and animate 3D models. Um, and uh, in the process of um, making this uh, little Robin character, um, I came across a problem um, which uh, required um, a, a, a slightly different solution to what you normally see. Um, uh, normally what happens is you rig a character like this using um, an armature, a series of bones that map to the mesh and you keyframe animate those individual bones. Um, however, the wings were causing me all sorts of trouble and um, I really couldn't find a satisfactory solution uh, to getting the wings to fold in a uh, nice, uh, smooth and realistic way. Um, so uh, what I wanted to do today was to show you how I um, found a solution um, involving uh, shape key animation combined with armature animation. Um, now, I couldn't find anything really um, particularly um, satisfactory on the internet for, for how to do this, so I thought I, I would um, make my own uh, little uh, tutorial video to, to show you guys. Uh, so if I pop over into Blender, um, this is where I've made my, my 3D model. You can see uh, uh, the mesh um, is uh, you know, just a standard mesh. Uh, with um, uh, an armature rig that I've prepared here. I won't go into the details of, of how I did all that because um, and there are plenty of other videos to show you how to model and uh, rig um, uh, 3D um, models. Uh, what I will show you, however, is um, how I went about doing the, uh, the shape key um, animation and how I combined it with the, excuse me, <coughs> how I combined it with the um, uh, with the armature animation for, for various other things. Uh, so if you've never seen uh, shape keys before, uh, let me pop over into um, edit mode. Um, you'll see that um, in edit mode, uh, you build your mesh. This is how I, how I prepared my mesh with the wings extended. Um, and uh, what you can do is um, create a shape key down here. If you select the, uh, uh, the little um, uh, mesh data thing there, um, and you, you automatically get a basis key, and then you can create another one, which I have called folded wings. Uh, now, folded wings was just all, all I did. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the armature there to keep it out of the way. Uh, all that you do is you um, you take the um, uh, the vertices from your original mesh, and in this case, um, all the wings here um, were extended, and I effectively folded the wings manually, piece by piece, such that the um, vertices. Uh, formed a, uh, a more pleasing uh, folded wing shape like that. Um, and the idea being that um, when you're in uh, object mode, uh, you can actually um, select your, um, uh, your key, uh, shape key and blend from 0% um, all the way up to 100% um, so that it uh, interpolates between those two extremes. And I'll show you from a, from a slightly different angle. Uh, now you can see that um, this doesn't necessarily create the most realistic uh, transition. So, like here, for example, you know the wings are doing something a little bit funny, um, but um, it's uh, at the extremes is the important bit. So it's, it looks it looks great there, and it looks great there. So that that's the pose I'm going to basically be using for when I want the model to be uh, flying around in the sky, and when I want it to land and to fold its wings, I transition to um, this uh, folded wing state. Uh, so that I can then have the, the little robin jumping around and doing the things that robins do when they're on the ground. And the transition between those two will be sufficiently fast that, um, that you really won't see the, uh, the slightly wonky in-between bits. Um, so, you know, you can imagine that if the animation is, is that quick, you're really not going to notice uh, the difference. Um, so, um, what I will show you how to do now is uh, um, combine uh, a, an armature animation with a shape key animation um, so that you can actually use that in Unity. So what typically happens is when you're using the automatic Unity import system for Blender models, um, you can't get the shape key animations in at the same time. Um, so what you have to do actually is, is export as an FBX, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, but um, in addition to that, you also need to make use of the NLA editor, which is a part of the animation system. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how, how to do that. If I pop over to the animation window here, um, when um, I've got the, uh, the mesh selected, uh, I can select this thing called the shape key editor. And what you end up with is your shape key pops up here. Uh, so you make, you've got to make sure that you're on the, um, the mesh, not the armature in this particular situation. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually select uh, 62 is about fine. Uh, frame 62, you'll see why. Uh, shortly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just uh, adjust this so that it's at, uh, oops, uh, at zero. That adds keyframe in there. I'm then going to scrub across um, 
let's see, it doesn't really matter about there, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I think that will add one in like that. And then in the middle, I'm just going to um, make it so that it's 100% um, uh, um, so that um, we transition from, uh, from open to closed and open again. Um, and just for luck, I'm going to um, I'm going to close it there and close it there. So we go open, close, open, close, just for fun. Uh, so I'm going to call that um, let's say wing flapping like that. I'm going to hit the F key to make sure it saves to um, the uh, the file. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit um, I'm going to scroll across here and you see there's this push down button. Now what happens here is that this pushes this action, this uh, shape key action, down onto the NLA track. Now I wasn't really sure what the NLA track did until I started looking into this. I still don't really know, but through experimentation I've discovered that it uh, does what I want it to do. So that's, in, that's the most important thing. Hit push down. Then what I'm going to do is pop over to the NLA editor and you can see that it's, it's added it to the um, NLA track for um, for the the Robin mesh. Um, now we've still got this action in the stash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that because I don't think I need that anymore. Um, and then what I'm going to do is is go and click on the armature, which brings up all of my armature actions. Right. So these are standard um, uh, armature animation uh, clips that I've prepared previously. Um, so in fact, if I go back to the dope sheet and go to the action editor, you can see that I've got here uh, Bob, look left and look right, which are just the, the three little clips. Um, uh, I'm not going to go into how I did those because there's plenty of other videos uh, on how to uh, prepare um, armature animations. So if I pop back to the NLA editor, you can see the reason I'm using this um, NLA editor is because I can actually drop uh, the individual clips in one long sequence and these will end up getting chopped up inside Unity so that you've got individual animations as you would normally see when you're in Unity. Um, but the reason you have to do it this way and spread them out like this is so that you can combine them with the shape key animations. So I've actually got a little little uh, wing wing uh, jitter here so uh, let me let me scroll it in you can see if let's turn that off again so it's a bit clearer. Um, uh, and uh, if I just zoom in a little you can see when I when I pan across that his his wings just sort of briefly flick out. That's a little um, um, a little action that robins do sometimes. Um, and let's click back on on the armature to bring up the NLA track for the armature as well. And you can see what I've done here, where I've got my wing flapping um, key, uh, shape key animation that will now be combined with the look left animation. So if you watch closely, you look left, flap his wings in and out. Then he'll look back to the center, and then you can see the look right animation plays um, after that. OK, so with all that done, I've got my three clips, Bob, look left and look right, and the two little flappy uh, wing uh, uh, shape key animations. This one will be combined with the Bob, and the wing flapping will be combined with the look left. Right, so that's all that. Uh, what we then have to do is uh, make sure that we've uh, got everything selected. Um, and then go to File, Export as FBX, um, find the, um, the relevant part of uh, my Unity folder where I've kept my Robin FBX file. So hit Export FBX, simple as that. Pop over to Unity. Now that's done some stuff, which uh, hopefully will all be automatic and, uh, and, and nice. Now, um, when the Robin gets imported, you can see uh, we get um, all these various animations. We've got um, the bob, the look left, the look right, and those all come in. Um, and um, you can preview them down here. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see the bob animation. If I, uh, if I plan it, uh, plant it like that, you can see now he does his little bob, and you can see there the little wing, the wings pop out, that little twitch. And if I show you the, well, if I, let's first show you the look right, which doesn't have a shape key animation associated with it. You can see it's just him looking right and looking back again. 
but if I select the, the look left animation, as I pan across, you can see suddenly that shape key animation gets combined with the look left animation into one clip because these are now coming from the NLA track rather than the individual actions. So with all that in place, I prepared a little um, uh, very basic animator. And what happens here is um, it will play the Bob clip, it will play the look left clip, it will play the same Bob clip again, then the, Bob, uh, then the look right clip and go around in a cycle like that. That's all that it does. Uh, this is just a test for me to see what's going on. And um, if I just uh, hit maximize on play and hit play, you should be able to see now we've got the little bob, the shape key animation plays, flap, flap, in combination with the looking left and right, or in, well, in, in this case, looking left. And there we go. So uh, that's um, how you can combine uh, shape key with armature animations um, in Blender so that you can then use them in Unity. Um, it's a bit convoluted, um, but a little bit of experimentation hopefully um, should get you something um, uh, like this that will uh, give you a bit more power over your, your animations um, and mean that you don't have to necessarily rely just on a, uh, a rigged character with, with an armature. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you, uh, if you can uh, give me any other suggestions of uh, useful techniques, uh, please let me know because um, I'm still pretty new to this and uh, learning it. Um, and uh, it would, this, would, this sort of video would have really helped me if I'd, uh, if I'd had it available before I started trying to do this. Um, but yeah, there's, there's probably loads of stuff I've uh, done wrong or missed out. So if you know better, please let me know. Um, and if it's helped you, uh, please let me know as well. That would be really nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will, um, any, anything other, any other interesting techniques I discover uh, while experimenting with this, I will uh, ensure that I let you know so that uh, other people can benefit. Uh, great, uh, have fun and um, good luck.